Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television and Board Game. Today we're doing a dual review of Warhammer Sisters of Battle number five, wrapping up the miniseries. Uh, this has been a pretty interesting series. Uh, I've enjoyed it. I've, I've enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I think it really does a fantastic job of nailing down the Sisters of Battle and why they stand out. Uh, it's written by Torin Grombeck. Edgar Salazar is the artist. R.F. Prianto is the colorist. Clayton Cowell is the letterer. Josephino's the designer. Um, so this had a, a group of sisters having to go in and retrieve a uh, an inquisitorial acolyte uh, that went missing on the planet Sissia. Uh, what they discover is a planet rife and corrupted by chaos. Now the question is why? How did it happen? Uh, and what to do about it? And of course the answer is purge the heretic. <laughs> I mean, douse them in flames and let the emperor sort them out, right? Like, shh. It's, isn't that the answer for everything when it comes to the sisters and, and space marines in general? Uh, exterminatus, I believe, is the answer to pretty much every question. Um, what do you want for dinner? Exterminatus. What should we do with this planet? Exterminatus. Uh, so this issue has the sisters uh, going full attack mode on the planet uh, now that they know things have gone foobard. And the squad of sisters are trying to get out with the acolytes. Of course, we saw them battling through. Uh, so what I think what the series has done really, really well is is really nail down who the Sisters of Battle are. Like, what makes them stand apart from Space Marines? How do they differ from the other uh, forces of mankind? Uh, and this series has done, I think, is an, done an excellent job at that. It really is focused on the Sisters and their faith. There is a lot of praying. There's a lot of prayer. Um, and I think what's, what's really done well by Torin Grabeck is that uh, and this issue, it's, it's emphasized a lot, is that this was a series, this was a volume that was really about two groups of two different faiths. Uh, one worshipped chaos, the other worships the emperor. Uh, and, you know, one is taking you through the path of light, one's taking you through darkness, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Um, but I, I think the series has, has done a solid job of really sp of focusing on that. Uh, you know, the... Sisters Battle stand out because of their faith. They, you know, Space Marines stand for the Emperor. You know, they are they are very much, um, you know, for the for the Imperium. Um, the Sisters of Battle are a little bit more fervent in that they they really believe the Emperor is God. They are doing this more of a religious uh, bent to their uh, purging and defeating of the enemy. Uh, and I think that's what really stands stands out a lot. You know, the the issue. This one throws a lot out there. I think it is more enjoyable if you know the Sisters of Battle than if you wouldn't. Um, Sisters of Repentia are, are thrown in there. And, you know, it goes a little bit into what they are, but it doesn't really explain who they are. Um, there's a lot of kind of characters are, are introduced. You know, some, some moments kind of like seem to come out of left field. Uh, you know, it doesn't. it's a little bit more roughshod and scattered than previous issues, uh, but that's because the, the scope of it expands a lot. You know, the sisters are now attacking the planet and uh, attempting to purge uh, the uh, slanish scum. Um, and because of that, you know, the scope of things have expanded, and there's more characters, there's more action, there's more things to introduce. Um, and so that way, like, I th th think the issue slips a little bit, but I think where it excels is it really dives into that, that question of faith. Um, and we see some really, uh, some real, uh, some massive acts of it, uh, some really devotional um, acts of faith on both sides. Uh, it also kind of teases what's going to come. I mean, clearly there seems to be starting a thread going through the first series about Marnius Calgar. Now this, uh, it'll be interesting to see what is uh, what is eventually revealed uh, for coming down the line. But there's there's clearly something planned here based off of the ending uh, of the series and kind of what's teased. So, um, you know, it, it, it's interesting. I think I think it's one that if you are a fan of Warhammer Forty K. It's going to probably land a little bit better um, overall. But as a 40K player, someone who has worked for Games Workshop, has, has played the game since I was a Wii one, um, you know, I, I enjoy it a lot. I think it's it's a really strong series. I think it does a fantastic job of really um, showing off what makes the sisters tick. And there's some really kind of emotional, like, holy crap moments that really that emphasizes all that and it does a great job because of that art's cool overall like i'm happy with it it's just good sci-fi pulp action 
um, that, that that dances and, and gives some depth, depths around the depth, but like gives some good explanation as to who these uh, who this army is and why they stand out uh, from some of the others. So overall, very pleased with it and uh, excited to eventually dive into my sister's army. Eventually, we got one, just it's not put together. All right, if you want to get your own copy, you can go get it from a comic shop. we got a link beneath this video. Open your zip code. Tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you, where you can purchase your own. There'll be uh, uh, some affiliate links, so we get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site, so thank you. And, of course, I want to thank you all for watching our video. Thank you for that. Uh, if you are into comics, if you're into Marvel, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. If you are into games, miniature games, card games, trading card games, miniature games, check us out at boardgametoday.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, all at Board Game Today, keeping it nice and consistent as well. Until next time, keep rolling those dice, keep reading those comics, get your game on, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.